Hello YouTubers, it's Triplecore105 here. This is another Roblox tutorial. Today I'm going to show you um, a little bit more about Roblox animations. Um, how to make them, upload them, put them in your game. Basically everything that has to do with animations. Now first things first, you have to have a Roblox account. You have to have the Roblox player downloaded and you have to have the studio. That's pretty much an obvious area for having animations. So now, what you want to do is um, you want to go to the catalog. And what you want to do is um, no, no, not catalog. You want to go to develop. This is Roblox 2015 in July. So there are a lot of new updates and things um, that are going out. Um, now what you want to do is you want to go to models in the library and what you want to look for is a script that allows you to put your animations in your place. Now I think what it's called is, you know what, no I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to another account and that account should have it. I'm going to post the link in the description below. That way you know what I'm talking about. This is one of my old accounts. I've seen earlier in my tutorial videos. <clears throat> so now what you want to do is you want to go to models. I mean, no, don't don't worry about going here. I mean, you can go to this account if you want to to try and get it. Um, yes, you want to find something that says animation and player script, and you want to get that, and you want to keep that so that you can use it in your studio. Okay, as soon as this loads up here, I can get it. Okay, so now that you have the animation player script, alright, that's that's the link. I'm gonna put that in the description below. Um let's go to studio now. Roblox Studio. Here we go. This is going to take a minute. I've actually not been in here for a while. Um, actually not for like... I haven't been in here for like two months. I mean, the animations tutorial number two was actually not a very well recorded video. And that was actually... Um, three months ago. The first animations tutorial was... Oh, like... I have no idea. That was a while ago. A new hat just came out. French bread sword pack. I have an itchy nose. This is going to take a while, let me pot. Nope, never mind. The devil, you say? Well, I know one thing, I'm getting... I'm going to use my other headphones. These, these are not working out for me. These, the cord is too short. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that. I should already be logged in. Let me just... Let me just log. Alright, here I am, TurboCore 105. Just, just make a base plate. It really doesn't matter what you select for game templates.
Alright, so here you are now. I'm going to get rid of the toolbox because it will kind of degrade your um, viewing here. So now it, it, I already have it, but you want to go to Manage Plugins. And now what you basically want to do is you want to go to the website. Once again, you want to go to Develop. And this time, you're not going to go to Models. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Plugins. Now, what you want to do is you want to look for Animation Editor. It should be under Roblox. And you want to copy that. You want to copy the link. Go over here and go to where it says Address in the Studio. And you want to paste that link. Enter. And now, and now we wait. Um, I'm not going to reinstall it or install it, um, but after you install this, you're going to have to restart your studio. So basically, before you do anything else, well, no do the things in the order that I said to do them but you want to go to animation editor you want to install this and when you restart your studio you're gonna to go to the plugins and you're gonna see this little section here animation editor block rig man rig woman rig mesh rig so now what you want to do is you want to create a mesh rig alright let's get a better view of it this is the face. Now what you want to do is you want to click this thing right here. It says Animation Editor. This little gray window will pop up here. Animation Editor has this gold ribbon looking thing here. And you want to click the torso of this mesh rig. And you want to press OK over here because that's going to be the base of the, the person. What you want to do is, today we're just going to make a, a simple running animation. So now you want to zoom out here. Now you can make this however you want it, but you're going to need two faces, or so to speak. We're going to make a simple running animation. Let's turn the head a little bit here. You can make it however you want. This part um, is one of the main areas. Try not to make this arm go too far to the back of the head because you want you don't want it to you don't want to ruin it. You want it to be even. You'll see what I'm talking about if you do make that mistake. Now let's go ahead and that's just weird. Okay, I think that's I think that's all right. So now what we want to do before you do anything else, you want to click at the very end where it says two. Want to click at the very end, and you want to just click each of these body parts, so called. And you want to just click them and click one of these bubbles. Do not move it. Or your animation will look weird. You just want to click each of the body parts. You can see it over here. If it has these um, purple squares on this purple line at the end, um, if each of those squares are there, there should be about six squares. So if you see all six squares there, then you are good to go. Now you want to go up here and you want to see this um, gray box right next to the word that says loop. You want to check that. And then you want to go back over to this bar thing and you want to click right about the middle which I would say right about here. And you want to basically do the exact opposite of what you did before.
So now this arm was up, now it's gonna go down. I just want to move this a little bit. Just want to move that back. Then you just want to move this arm up. Just tilt it a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, so now want to go up to this um, plus arrow right next to the to the left of the word that says timeline you want to press play we're gonna zoom in here we're gonna see it looks kind of like a little running animation all right but if you want that faster you go to the end right here and you click the thing that says I'm just get to stop that in order to edit any further you go over here and you press the thing that says 2, and it will show you a bar that says animation length. I suggest 0 0.8 for a running animation if you want it to go really fast. Let's test that out. There we go, that's perfect. It looks kind of like walking, it's alright. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to... You do not need Builders Club to make animations. You don't need Builders Club to post them, anything like that. So what you want to do is you want to press export. You're going to get this window that says Roblox Studio. Now this is how you're going to upload it. Ah, don't you just hate it when that happens? Let me pause the video. Alright, so I click the export button again. This is after it started responding again. Well, never mind. Back again. So what I did was I waited a few minutes and then I pressed create new. It had those two little wrench things. And all you have to do is press create new and you have these basic settings open. Um, simple running animation. I just put that there to let you know that it's for this video. What you want to do is, you can put anything you want in the description, but you have to have name and description in there. Now you want to press finish. It will create animation. And after this is done, you'll be able to go to your inventory and... Alright, so once this is done, you'll be able to go to your inventory and see the animation that you just created. What you want to do is exit that. You want to go to view. You want to pull up that toolbox again. Home, select. You just, you want to get rid of this. That is not, no longer, that is no longer needed. So, you want to go to Models, My Models. If you had gotten the animation and player script, then good. Now you just open this. Alright, no, no, don't, don't open that. I want to go to Anima. There you go. And now, what you want to do is you want to go to your animation um, you want to go to your inventory now, and you want to go to the, the location of the animation that you just created. I might not be able to wrap this video up in 15 minutes. So now let's go to 
where it says animations and there is your new animation that you just made and what I want to do is you want to open link a new tab you, you don't have to do that you can just click on it and you want to copy these last numbers here right behind item question mark ID equals you want to copy the numbers all the numbers behind that when you go to your studio you want to go to the the script you want to click on the thing that says anima um, don't worry about animation handler or instructions just go straight to animal double click and you want to go to the type of animation um, if it's a running animation you're gonna put the the numbers over here like a walk um, right beside it or right beside to the lower right of it it says ID equals and don't edit anything in the purple area just the last numbers and replace them with the numbers that you already have so now you just want to exit that and you have to have them in the same thing it's walk so lower right put the numbers in and you want to go to anima you want to go to this that says walk you want to go down and you will see something that says walk anim and you're going to go down here to data you have to have properties explorer and toolbox open and you want to go to the place that says properties right under data it's going to say animation id you basically have to do the same thing replace the last numbers with the last numbers of the the location of your ip or i mean no not ip but um the location like the address for it so now what we have to do is we want to test it so test play there we go all right so cross your fingers hope this works It does not. Okay, so I might have done something wrong. Move this. Alright, so walk anim the back. Anima. I'm just going to name that my first anima script. I'm going to put that, save it to Roblox. So that's, that's pretty much all you have to do. If it worked for you, that's great. Sometimes it doesn't work. You might have to go back and make another animation and start the whole thing over again. That's, that's all there is to it. So yeah, I hope this worked for you. Um, enjoy. And peace out.